in securing 500 points and that was a very big victory for Institute of Technology in Nirmar University against the Government College of Engineering Amravati Maharashtra who were able to collect only 80 points. Now with such a huge margin of victory, the total number of points that the team is able to collect also gives them a very secure comfort backup that even if they go on to win this match by a smaller margin, the total number of points which will be added towards the end of the day today for every institute will some way provide them the assistance to be able to qualify for the qualifiers tomorrow. So over here, Akshay, very clearly, one thing to be observed is that the Institute of Technology, Nirma University, would have this in their mind that all they need is a victory. The margin of this victory does not matter because they already have a lot of points in their pockets today from the first match that had happened during the early part of the day. Also, Sakshi, the best thing is that Nirma is uh, not leaving any stone unturned. They've had a good start with uh, thumping 500 points there, but uh, they're going about the job as meticulously as they were in their earlier match against the Amravati College. Now taking on Mahindra University with all guns blazing already. Two balls into the silos there, three balls into the silos there, and successfully planted almost all of them, barring one which has uh, fallen later on. Eleven seedlings into the plantation area. And uh, the great timing they are having here. Lovely work done by and the design of the robot. Obviously, you know, we were having a chat with them during the pit area and they were keeping it hidden and kind of a secret. A very interesting design. And uh, that will also be closely watched by the referee and the committee as well. Uh, look at the way they are just generating and collecting the balls. The beautiful, interesting mechanism there. Another ball comes into, but unfortunately that has ricocheted out of the area number three. Still looking for an opportunity as far as the autonomous robot is concerned to put it. Another into silo. Already five balls. Now this will be the sixth one into the silos. So brilliant work and uh, living up to their reputation. Nirma University as a daunting stalwart team that has been with the uh, Robocon. Very interesting ploy, but uh, Team Red on your left screen, you can see that they're having a bit of trouble starting with the uh, robot. And that's really disheartening for Mahindra University, Sakshi. Yes, anytime you face a thumping defeat at the hand of your opposition or the opponent, it's never a good feeling. And what looks right now over here is that for the red team, which is represented by the Mahindra University, they have struggled at even, first of all, placing those seedlings into the right spots because the robot seems to be out of their control completely. While on the other hand, we have the Nirma University very swiftly gliding their way through this entire match. Just 15 more seconds remaining in this match and this should be an easy victory for Nirma University. Not just an easy victory but also a victory that should solidify their chances to qualify for the quarterfinals tomorrow because this is one of the teams which has had the biggest margin of victory today and has also assisted a total of 500 points in their first match. Now, that's a margin that no other team came close to through the course of the day today. And then the closest that the other team came to was Pimpri Chinchavad College of Engineering Pune, who had 470 points and won the matches.